you will have also another kind of quadrilateral where you have a circle you have a circle okay then you draw a quadrilateral in such a way that all the four vertices of this quadrilateral they are on the boundary of the circle such kind of quadrilateral we call it cyclic cyclic come from the word cycle or circle no so those so remember quadrilateral inside the circle but it vertices is on the boundary of a circle such quadrilateral we call it a cyclic quadrilateral so now let us see the property property you don't have to learn by heart but just for understanding okay you will need it for your higher classes and then you just read to understand okay so let us see first the properties of parallelogram properties mean the character here when we are talking properties in other subject it mean the money and all but here no here we are talking about the character i hope you know what is the meaning character today getting long okay so see first of all in a parallelogram what happened opposite side are equal this one equal to this one this one equal to this okay adjacent side are not equal but opposite side are equal they not only equal but also parallel to one another okay the book does not mention that but remember that you have to remember opposite side of parallel lucram they are equal as well as parallel to one another then the next one you see opposite angle remember no? like this one this one there from corner to corner this one is equal to this this one is equal to this so that's why i told you one pair they will be acute another pair they will be obtuse but not 90 degree then the diagonal they will cut each other at equal part bisect by mean two sec mean cut so bisect mean cut each other into two equal parts that mean if the whole length is 8 cm so this one will be four this one will be four so remember that the diagonal of a parallelogram they cut each other into two equal part then if you have only a parallel like that if you draw only one diagonal suppose then if you take like a paper no you take this one and you fold them you will see the triangle are equal so remember they will be equal in length they will be equal in everything so if you remember in class 7 when they are equal everything what we call we call congruence okay when side are equal uncle are equal that is what we call congruence to check this you can do like that okay take a piece of paper draw parallelogram then you fold it diagonally then you will see that this triangle will be exactly equal to this one okay so when these two are equal they equal inside they equal in angles we call them to be congruence triangle congruence mean equal in all respect i hope you remember in class 7 this is a symbol for congruence okay which means angle a equal to angle c b equal angle d c equal angle a then the side a b equal c d b c equal d a a c equal c a okay then those so next you will see uh, this is parallelogram the same one only you have to remember okay if the quadrilateral is parallelogram then you will have opposite angles they will be equal opposite side will be equal and diagonal they bisect each other at 90 degree next you will see the properties of rectangle so remember rectangle the difference between rectangle and uh, parallelogram in rectangle you will have each angle is 90 degree okay this is a figure each angle will be 90 degree that is a different so the same way first of all each angle is 90 degree then the next property is what the next property we will have opposite side okay they will be equal and parallel same like in the case of parallelogram okay then here because the angle is 90 degree so if we draw diagonal from here to here from here to here they will be equal and also they will bisect each other that means they will cut each other at 90 degree okay then next we will see property of rhombus remember rhombus it is similar to parallelogram but here all side are equal so remember that okay opposite side they are equal and 
parallel then all four side are equal but you have to remember each angle is not 90 degree but opposite angle will be equal okay like in the case of parallelogram the same thing here also opposite side will oh, sorry opposite angle will be equal that mean one pair will be acute another pair will be uh, obtuse then the diagonal if we join them they will cut each other at 90 degree diagonal they are not equal but they cut each other at 90 degree then next square remember okay in a square all side are equal so and each angle is 90 degree so the same thing like that opposite side they will be parallel all the four sides are equal then the difference is that here here each angle is not equal only opposite angle are equal but in a square you will get each angle is equal that is 90 degree each then their diagonal are not equal but here the diagonal are equal and at the same time they cut each other into two equal parts and they also make an angle of 90 degree